Augustine has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. I'm not getting through that. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. What would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. No, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. The 
and right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God, there's someone out there. Great. If this plot gets any thicker, it's gonna need a new pair of jeans. Huh. Um, do you guys think we should be worried? I mean, what if they're dangerous? Maybe we should find Augustine and let her know. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I've spent, like, all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and, yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't, please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm... I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. 
But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. And Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Guess not. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. Why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention sure, no Frank, one was sad to see it know. go. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. Journalists sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Mom's finally getting out. I can't wait.
Omniverse? Far out. Isabel. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that night, before or since. And don't reckon I ever will again. <laughs> Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Him crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. say anything but I'm just not a fan of this mm, understandable her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills but you know those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Is she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank! It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop! Bullseye! Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there, that's it! That's the place! It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people! 
company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. This way. Then I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking wild. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Dad really patrols the mill? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. I had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. We 
were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Campfire. Looks old. Oh. Bonnie and her friends used to come out here and hang out. Bonnie seems too cool to have friends. That's true. They were not cool enough for her. And that's why she moved to New York. Wait, really? <laughs> no. But she wasn't always so... Bonnie. What? She was kind of a goody little two-shoes. Who had bonfire parties at abandoned mills. What's wrong with that? It just doesn't feel very goody little two-shoes. Well, Bonnie was the president of the Clean Up Cedar Hills High School Initiative. We'd come through here and pick up all the litter that had blown in off the road. Oh. Pretty little two-shoes. What happened? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. You gotta love a happy ending. So, like I was saying, we were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. Uh,
Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And gravity. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Ha! <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Even.
Who would have left this here? I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Huh, a little okay. Better get back to Robert. As I've been saying, even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn, I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnished chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, Gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, I was gonna say, I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. 
And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off. I think this is it, up there. Oh, thank goodness. Yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. <clears throat> huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Did you see something? No, that was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. 
Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, get off me. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie! Disagree. Not cool! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set.
You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's... different.
Here's what we're gonna do. Jaime, Chris, you start here. Robert and I will follow. Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Jaime? Chris? All set? And... action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. Totally. Felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... 
we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Holy... What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa! Ain't that something? Ah, rats. What's up? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Let's go take a look. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night we're in the abandoned still mill, where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe... Gene Shop? Only one way to find out. Well, let's go take a look. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night we're in the abandoned still mill, where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but... He sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like, acupuncture? With all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean, like, occult stuff? Look, 
I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Why is it always clowns? <laughs> Dead end. Not this way. Do you really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, do you think she isn't gonna follow through on her, uh, offers?
Speaking from experience, don't get your hopes up. Why? Talk is cheap. Hey! You guys might want to come take a look at this! Why don't we go look around? Oh, never thought. Hmm? Oh, or you look at this play. What? Cause it's cool as hell. We might as well take a look around. Hmm. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. 